Are there any clues to the naked eye? Like, is this completely hidden to the naked eye? Or can you look at a galaxy and think, actually, that's a candidate for one of this, this unusual thing? It's pretty much hidden. Yeah, you really can't tell from the naked eye. I mean, obviously, every time you take a picture of a galaxy, something like this, it's a snapshot. It's a single frame in time. You, know, you don't see any movement. You don't see the gas either. You know, the gas is not giving off any visible light, really. You only see the stars and you see their specific fixed positions. So movements and uh, histories and stuff like that are all completely hidden um, to the naked eye. Would a situation where the stars are rotating in the opposite direction to the gas cause anything interesting to be happening in the galaxy though? Because I imagine if you're going upstream in a river, you get all this turbulence and stuff like, yeah. I mean, is this a more going to be a more violent system? Yeah, that's a really good question. You actually would get a lot more star formation, for example. So you can imagine sort of the shock waves moving through the galaxy as these two things rotate in opposite directions. You might get more triggered star formation. And you can see in the galaxy as well, you can see these really bright patches all around, the ones where we can see where the dust isn't blocking, you can see lots and lots and lots of patches of star formation. And so you think that might be because there's this interaction between the stars and the gas. We live in a spiral galaxy of sorts. Mm -hmm. Do we have any idea of what's going on in our, our neighbourhood? Are we going the same way as the gas or against it? Yeah, it's a little bit more difficult to tell because we're in it. Um, that's always plagued you know, Milky Way astronomers for a long time. It's difficult to sort of see the big picture when you're stuck inside it. Um, we think that we're rotating in the same direction, so we don't think ours is really that abnormal, which again is probably why they didn't realise this for so long, because our sort of you know, case study that we've relied on for so long with the Milky Way is just sort of your normal spiral atypical galaxy. You said that once this uh, phenomenon was discovered, the thinking was, well, where else is it happening? Let's go mm. and look at others. Mm. Have they started finding others? Like, are these. Oh, yeah. Is it like a one in a hundred, one in a million, or one in ten? Is it, are they common, or are they more common than you think, or are they still a rarity? No, they're more common than you think. Um, so we find a lot of them. Um, you find a lot in uh, spirals, or even uh, there's still a disk in the galaxy, but like a bulge has grown from the central bit to like swamp the disk. And that might be counter-rotating in comparison, but there's a lot that we find in these big surveys that are counter-rotating. So that suggests that, you know, maybe these mergers that form these things are quite common as well. I think it's around about like 10% of galaxies or something.